Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Rules of Games. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about and make a comparison between the Casio FX 115 ES Plus uh, Second Edition and FX 300 ES Plus Second Edition. So both of these calculators are uh, new and they're the second edition of their previous version. First, for this one, the 115 ES, uh, I always use the other version, the first edition, which was the two-way power edition, and I actually really liked it, it was the blue one, but I didn't bring it on this video because I know if you're looking at this video, you want, you want to buy one, and that one is not available anymore, so that one was this one, but, uh, uh, that one, the first edition of this one, I have so many memories with it, and it was a great calculator. However, this the new one has all of the functionality of the old one, and then the design is a little bit more modern. And I like the one thing that I like uh, with this new one is that their uh, buttons, the numbers are actually um, engraved on the uh, calculator buttons. And previous one, there was a, a sticker when once you use it uh, for a while, all of the numbers were deleted, were erased. So for the my previous one, if I show you, there is no button. You don't see anything. So I have I, but uh, it didn't matter for me because I used it so many times that I remembered everything. I didn't need to look at what is it. But uh, uh, that's already gone. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the new ones. So, what is you, you may think that you may want to buy this one because this one's black, but this one's not one. Uh, this one's white, but you may think about why uh, you should not get this black one uh, and why you should get this black one. So, if you're uh, uh, like a uh, high school student or an intermediate school student then you can get this black one but then if you are an engineer and you looking at this uh, video uh, so you can take your calculator to university and then later on use it on your job then definitely don't get the black one you should get the white one which is the FX 115 ES Plus now there are some reasons why you should not get uh, the black one if you're an engineer uh, one reason is that if for example you're a civil engineering or surveyor uh, there are rules for you uh, the calculator policy so one calculator policy is this one and so if you want to take your EIT exam FE exam PE exam for engineering and um, it says that all FX115 and FX991 models, any Casio calculator must have FX115 or FX991. What this means? That it means all of the FX115, so it can be the regular one, the plus one, the first edition, or the second edition. Which all of the previous one are gone right now. If you want to buy it, only this one that we do. Uh, so, you only can use this one or the Casio 991. But the Casio 991, FX 991, has less capabilities of this one. And it is slightly more expensive. So, i rather to go with the FX 115 ES because it has all of the functionality that you need. And it is the most functional uh, calculator available on the market. Now for people who want to get this and uh, the people who also want to know the disadvantages of the Casio FX300, I will tell you. So Casio FX300 ES Plus is missing some of the functions that are needed for engineer and also maybe if you're taking a calculus in high school, you may need for those classes too. Let's go ahead and see what are those. Let me turn both of them off. Okay, 
So as you can see right here, above number seven, number eight, number four, number five, number six, number two, and number three, there's nothing. But right here, you can see there are something. So this Casio FX 115 can handle constants, which this one doesn't have. This one can handle conversions like feet to meter, pound to kilogram, and everything, which this one doesn't have. This one has matrix. If you're an engineer, you need you can't uh, sit and calculate all of the matrix by hand. It takes uh, too long. If you want to find the determinants, everything uh, you can do it with this one. But this one doesn't have matrix. This one has vector. This one doesn't have vector. Yeah, for with this one you can verify, but with this one you can't verify. For this one it has a stat, but doesn't have a stat. Complex number, no complex number. Base, uh, no base. Oh, this one has a stat, but it doesn't have the this. Uh, yeah, but no complex number, no base, no verify, no vector, no matrix, no conversion, no constants. That's the disadvantage. And for a conversion, I can show you too. So once you open this, in the back you see. Uh, instruction for the conversion but right here you don't see anything so for example for the constant these are the constant and then you don't have to memorize the number you can just click uh, shift 7 and then choose any of these and then it automatically calculates it for you and for conversion they're really helpful I use it many times and I really like it. So even my last thought on this is even if you're a high school student and you may thinking of going to engineering or uh, you like a calculator which has full functionality so one day if you get to for example matrix you need it definitely get a uh, Casio FX 115 ES plus because it's worth it. And it's a great calculator you have so many memories with it and you'll keep it for the rest of your life to do all of your calculations with it and that's my hint yeah other than this uh, if you have any question please feel free to comment below and thank you so much for watching this video